Definitely off the field, like with like the plays and lining up. My first year, I really didn't know the playbook like that, and I know coming into my second season, you know, they expected a lot of me with uh, guys getting injured, so they wanted me to step up my game. So I know uh, learning the plays and knowing my role, they wanted me to be a deep ball threat, and I think that's where I learned and strive the most at. So. So where do you want to get better this year, and have you set any kind of individual goals for yourself? Uh, I want to get better this year knowing every single like route, no matter just the X and going deep, I want to know the intermediate routes, uh, not just going deep, post. I want to know digs, slants, everything. And I just want to know anything that Miller wants and that I can go do. How would you describe last year? You know, like now that you've had a chance to kind of look back on it and, and the progress you had, the production you had, I don't know what your expectations were, but uh, coming, coming out of it, what did you think? Uh, coming out of it, I mean, we didn't end where we wanted to losing in the championship, but on this new season coming up, I have a lot of high expectations for myself. I want to be one of the best uh, receivers in Mountain West. And I know TG wants to be the best, and I know that he's going to strive to be the best too. So it's good having guys like that, TG and Ashton, that want to be the best, Trail and all of them. So I just know that we strive for greatness, and that's the standard. Your season last year was kind of split in half. The first half of the season, you, you were pretty quiet. Then Cutter comes in, and, and all of a sudden he calls you a playmaker and it seems like you're out there making plays. What, what role did he play in terms of getting you on the field and, and making you click on offense last year? Um, just believing in me. He knows, like, see me in practice, he knows that I can do it. And when it comes game time when he needs to play, he just counted on me. And when people count on me, I don't want to let them down. So that's my mindset when I go out there is not let people down. Is that the kind of confidence you can carry into next year? Or? Yes, sir. That's my confidence to go on next year with. What do you think of the, uh, the Texas connection? kind of hype with you, Ashton, Kalen? Uh, I've been hearing about it, me, TG, Trail, uh, Ashton. I mean, we all have been hearing about it. And it's just something that people say, but we all know that coming from Texas, it's a football state, and that's basically coming from Boise. We try and bring the culture from Texas up here, just like it's a football team. And Boise is a great like place to strive for. So the standard is to be a great football player on and off the field, and that's the, that's the standard. What are your thoughts on Coach Hampton and the new scheme you guys are installing this year? I mean, he's very explosive coming from Missouri and bringing his offense over here and just seeing it. That no matter what it is, he wants to go deep, he wants to go vertical, and when it's a run game, he wants explosive. So the goal is four yards, but I know he's wanting touchdowns no matter what. We hand it to Georgia Ashton, and I know that he just wants to be that guy when it comes to it. He wants to go undefeated, and that's the goal. For the receivers, is there anything different in this game than what you guys ran last year? Is your uh, responsibility is different at all? No, it's the same. Uh, block for your buddy, explode off the ball, everything. I go vertical, catch everything that comes your way. Anything that's catchable, and uh, yeah. What kind of goes through your mind when you're, when you're going for a deep ball? <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> uh, get over the top and just uh, hopefully just compete. If I'm open, I better catch it. And if I'm not open, it's the like 50-50 ball. And I don't want to be 50-50. I'm more of a 80-20, 70-30, and that's just my mindset. Looking back on your high school career, is there a favorite memory of yours, maybe a performance in a game, a performance in practice, anything like that? Uh, my junior year, going against Crowley, we were down by, I think it was like one point. Uh, coach believed in me, he said, Eric, run a slant. I ran a slant the first time, dropped it, came back, he said, Eric, run another slant. Ran a slant, caught it, got hit, time going down, kicker makes a goal goal, we win. That first drop, I'm sure you were beating yourself up. What did you learn from that experience you think is still helping you now? Uh, stay neutral. First drop, next play mentality, and don't worry about the, next, uh, the last play, on to the next. As you think back on your career, is there a, a player or a coach that you really look at as a mentor, someone that really impacted your career? Uh, my receiver coach in high school, Derek Doris, uh, he expected to have me, especially him going to Texas Tech and be able to play on NFL teams throughout his career. And just growing up, he didn't let nothing slide, no matter what it is, whether it's throwing something away or finishing a route, it's always 100%. And have you always been a receiver, or is that a, is that a position you kind of grew into? Uh, I played quarterback growing up, running back growing up, and I was kind of too small for the position. I really couldn't throw. And then going into junior high, then moving to receiver, and then going to high school, I just stayed receiver the whole time. Did you have a growing spurt somewhere along the line, or were you always slowly getting big? I was always slowly getting big, especially going through junior high and high school. I hit a big growth spurt going from like five eight to six foot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that moment where you realized, like, hey, I'm, I'm better than most of the guys on the field, like I, I could be a D1 guy? Uh, basically, my junior year is when I realized when I started getting the ball a lot more, I started going against a lot of high talent and going to camps and going like the top 100 camp in Texas, competing with those guys. That's when I knew I was like, okay, maybe I can do this for the, the long run. What are you, 6'4"? 6'4"? 205. 205? 6'4", Curious about some of the young receivers this year, guys like uh, Prince Streak and uh, Zamondre Merriweather. What have you seen out of those guys? And, and, and in your opinion, what do they need to do to get on the field? 
Oh, Prince just had a big practice uh, on, what was it, Wednesday or Tuesday? He had a big practice catching multiple balls, taking two to the crib, and just competing. Prince is a big tall receiver just like me, and he's going to go vertical uh, with the Madres. The Madres just, uh, just learning the plays and being uh, consistent is what everybody needs to work on. But those are the two things that I can see uh, me, the Madre, and Prince all working on, being young. Young for, guys. for much of last year, you were the deep threat. I mean, how important is it for for this team to develop two, maybe even three deep threats? Uh, it's very important because with me out there, most teams expect, okay, he's going deep. But with us getting Prince on the field, Static on the other side, and them going deep as well, I know Static didn't get many deep balls last year, but his speed can definitely take guys over the top. Who's the fastest uh, player in the wide receiver room? I would definitely say Steph Cobbs. You tell us what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was actually the same, so. <laughs> there we go.